going to read an article <coughs> called Do What You Love, and then we're going to do a compare and contrast between the Langston Hughes poem, between Of Mice and Men, and between this Tony Hawk article. Yes, Tony Hawk is in the skateboarder. So, uh, while I'm passing this paper out, I want to ask you, what kind of dreams got used in Of Mice and Men? What kind of dreams were in Of Mice and Men? Jeanette? The dream of having a farm. Dream, who had the dream of having a farm? John? Yeah, okay, so Candy got put in on it as well. Why is Candy's part of his dream so sad? What are the other dreams that are apparent in Of Mice and Men? Who else has a dream? Curly's wife. Curly's wife. What was her dream? Go to Hollywood and go to Hollywood and play a um, star. So she's that kind of Kim Kardashian figure. She has, she wants to be rich and famous, but why didn't Curly's wife give her dream? Can you see the little ladder, Jackie? Didn't her mom not allow that? Her mom prevented her from pursuing her dream, which some of you guys, you're 14 years old, 15 years old, some of you are even still 13. You might be feeling like your parents are preventing you from doing all the fun things you want to do. That, like, you. Uh, that's part of what goes into Curly's wife's troubles. So we're going to read an article about that discusses the role of dreams in modern day life. So we know that a bunch of men isn't necessarily at our current time. I mean, it's 1930s Great Depression, but there are parallels that we can draw on between 1930s America and our current kind of recession. So I'm going to read the first paragraph with you, or to you. We're going to answer a couple of the questions on the other handout that I gave you, and then we're going to popcorn the rest of the reading. I believe that people should take pride in what they do, even if it is scorned or misunderstood by the public at large. I have been a professional skateboarder for 24 years. For much of that time, the activity that paid my rent and gave me my greatest joy was tapped and with many labels, most of which were ugly. It was a kid's fan, a waste of time, a dangerous pursuit, a crime. Looking at the other worksheet, what is Hawk's thesis, and where do we see this? When I was about 17, three years after I turned pro, my high school careers teacher scolded me in front of the entire class about jumping head in my in my workbook. Asked what their dads do for work. Responses were things like my dad sells money and my dad my dad figures stuff out. It's true. Skateboarding doesn't seem like real work. But I'm proud of my dream. My parents never <coughs> once questioned the practicality behind my passion. Even when I had to scrape to get the gas money and regarded dinner at Taco Bell as a big night out. Beautiful. Thank you guys. <coughs> Turn back to the notes section. So what I would like to do is I'm gonna we're gonna work together and do number three together. I realize now how redundant that sentence was. And then I would like you to respond to four, five, and six privately. You're going to then Share your answers with a partner and we'll come back together as a class. So question three, why do you think Hawk never stopped writing and continued to pursue his dreams? Well, this thing like to prove a point because everybody at the time thought that he was I mean, a failure. His teacher, as he proved here in Italy, his parents weren't that happy that their son's best goes to the time skateboarding. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is to prove a point. Okay, so the idea of to prove a point that he can do it. And then, picking back to what Eugene said, it does seem like there's this idea with, oh, you said I can't do it? Okay, I'm gonna show you that I can do it. And it's it's almost like that is part of the what fuels the passion for it. It's, I'm gonna be able to do this because you said I can't. I will prove you wrong. I am the best. Skateboarding is a sport. Skateboarding is the best thing. Jonna? Uh, and he he mentions part of that too later on in the article when he's talking about the uh, Taco Bell thing, like Taco Bell is the big amazing night, like 
he's setting that up as far as even though you might have struggles, the money will follow. You'll be happy later on. I'm going to give you another couple minutes. Uh, maybe plan on a minute for each question. But I'd like for you to answer questions four, five, and six by yourself. Uh, so for relegated, relegated essentially means in this context that you're put into a, uh, that line. He's forced to go. It's a negative thing. So it's not just, hey, you want to go to the lesser checkpoint, but it's you, you have to go to this checkpoint because you listed your, his, himself as a, having a profession that isn't deemed as uh, reputable. So it's used in a negative way here. A lot of people are in different spaces. I'm going to give you guys another minute, minute and a half to just respond. Don't worry if you don't get it all down. I'll give you time at the end to fill in the blanks later. And you're going to get a chance to talk with partners about this. So another minute for independent work, and then we're going to transition. I understand that some of you guys are still working, but I would like for everyone, regardless of your place with the questions, to turn to a partner, somebody that is near you. If you need to do a group of three, that's fine, but I prefer for it to be just a quick partner. <laughs> Share your findings for four, five, and six. I said, uh, 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 you know, for the number four, it's because uh, people figure that his job is not natural, so often he doesn't contribute to society. I, I think for four, I believe that he takes pride in it, that it's true. And also, he may write it down because he sees it and he's doing it. way to phrase it. He himself sees it. Respectable profession. There's an idea that if you don't see yourself positively, if you don't see yourself as being worthwhile, no one else is going to see you that way. How you feel like you should be treated is the way that other people are going to then treat you. So if he himself, as a professional skateboarder, kind of like hit in the corner and he wrote other, his, you know, his more money maker job titles, he's never going to change his, how people view him. They're always just going to see him as the tattooed guy or whatever kind of negative stereotype that has been affected to him. So on the side, I've written down the poem that we covered last week. The Dream Deferred by Langston Hughes poem. So it's here, it's legible and big for you to read. And what I want you to do on the back sheet of the questions paper is copy this down as best as you can. I know I'm asking you to draw circles, and circles are hard. But uh, who remembers what this is called? Venn diagram. You guys are gorgeous. OK, so we're making a Venn diagram. And what I want you to do is you're going to get a chance to look at what is each author saying about dreams and how do you know. And we reviewed at the beginning of class what Steinbeck is saying about dreams. We talked, well, we talked about the type of dreams that have appeared in Of Mice and Men. So I'll give you a couple minutes to write and copy this shindig down, and then we'll fill it in together. Uh, and you know what? At the end of Of Mice and Men, yes, George kills Lenny. But there's no understanding that he might not be able to get it all. Like, he still has Candy's money. He still has his money. There's no reason as to why they couldn't still do the farm. It's just this whole, the, the crushing dream of who you want to share it with. There's an idea that you share your dreams. Is that, I, is that apparent in any of the other articles? You have to share your dreams. Can I put that in like, here, here, here? John? In Hawks, it's kind of, because he said that uh, sometimes so you can put that into that part of the Venn diagram. There's, there can be multiple answers for each one of these. It's not just Steinbeck is only saying that Steinbeck might be saying a few different things that maybe you see that other people don't. <coughs> Even though like, the dream changes, it's still there. 
So it can, that one can go right here. Dream changes, but it's still there. I want you to fill up the spin diagram as best as you can with the same partnerships that you were working with a second ago.